Hello, I'm Rob Lorenzer with Embarcadero Technologies. In this video, I'll show you how DB Optimizer can help you do load testing to determine if SQL code will scale on a SQL Server production instance. Let's begin by testing to see if this SQL code we have in front of us will scale to a production environment. I'm going to copy and paste this out of DB Optimizer's editor. I'll paste it into a SQL load testing job. And let's say in our production environment this SQL statement will be executed 25 times by 25 parallel sessions will execute this code 25 times each and there'll be some randomness in time to those executions. Now, before we execute this job, we want to make sure we're load profiling this SQL Server 2005 database that we're going to execute it again, this job against. So, in my Explorer tree on the left, I'll go ahead and kick off a profile by right-clicking on the SQL Server and choosing Profile As. Notice that there's no load at this time on the SQL Server 2005 database. Let's kick this off and see the type of load that is generated. Notice that right away we have a green spike. Looking at the legend above, we can see that green is a CPU is CPU load. The first spike was 9 CPUs. Also notice on the progress view on the lower left corner, we can see how close we are to completion with this SQL load testing job. At this point we're halfway done. If you also know the number of engines on the machine you're executing the job against, you can place that on the load profile. In this case, I only have two engines on this test server. So we can see that m many times there is quite a bit of CPU contention. So this load would make me nervous if I promoted this code to production. Now that the job is complete, notice that DB Optimizer's load profile collected that SQL statement. At this point what I would do is choose to tune this select statement by right clicking on it and selecting tune. DB Optimizer will take the select statement into a tuning job and allow me to generate some cases. I'll choose to generate these cases and execute each generated case. Then I'll execute the job. Once the job is complete, we can examine the new cases down below. DB Optimizer generated seven cases for us. Let's examine the execution statistics to see which one we may choose to replace the original text with. This, this hash join query looks to be the, one of the fastest cases that it generated with a 0.05% excuse me, 0 0.05 second execution time as compared to the base case 0 0.08. So let's take this select statement, the generated case, I'll copy it and paste it back into our SQL load testing job. Notice that it used the hash join hint down below. We'll leave the parameters the same and execute the job. Now let's go back to our profile. It is executing down below. and we can see the type of load that's occurring.
it does seem to be executing a bit faster with less load. We can see we're about three-fourths of the way done with this profile and we can already determine that there has been significantly less CPU contention with this generated case. So if we'd like, we could go ahead and replace the original code with this generated case and you can see we would generate much less load with this example. And this is how DB Optimizer can help you determine if SQL code will scale to a SQL Server production environment.